Hey what is up everyone, here's how to add transparent watermark here in CapCut. So the first thing that we are going to do is basically open a new project and in this project we're going to choose the library and we're going to go ahead and look for the green screen. Now there are a lot of green screens available here, what we want is just an image so I'm just going to go ahead and choose this one right here. I'm going to choose HD and basically just add this one. Alright so it is going to be like this, from this point forward you're going to add a text. Now the text is going to be your watermark so go ahead and add whatever you want here. Say for example if I'm going to go ahead and write here just like so and I'm just going to go ahead and basically change this or style this however I want. You can go ahead and be creative in here. I'm just going to go ahead and make mine bold. All right, there you go. So this is how it is going to look like. After doing so I'm just going to go ahead and export this and then click done and then we're going to open the project where we want to put that particular watermark say this for example now what i'm going to do is add an overlay and then we're going to choose that one all right this one right here and then you're going to reposition this depending on where you want to say for example if i were to put it here or uh here at the top say for example and then we're going to go ahead and basically look for remove background this one right here and then we're going to choose chroma key now before anything else i want you to adjust this one and make sure it is choosing the green and then for the intensity, you're going to have to adjust this one. Um, basically, it's actually very simple. There you go. You can adjust this one as much as, but I'm just going to be save at 56. And then go ahead and click this one. Of course, you can still adjust this one and put this wherever you want. But basically, that's how it is. Now, from this point forward, we're going to go ahead and click this once again. Click splice. And then we're going to choose overlay. So this is how it is at 100%, but you can definitely make this a bit fainter if you want to. But yeah, I'm just going to stick at 100%. Go ahead and click this one, and then we're going to adjust this, make sure that it fits the entire video. So how are we going to do that? You can just click on it, and then we're going to click the speed. And then for the normal, go ahead and make this the slowest one possible. Don't worry, it's not going to affect anything. And then here, we're going to go ahead and basically uh, delete the other one. All right, so right here, I'm just going to go ahead and click this, split, and then we're going to delete the other one that we don't need. So basically, here's how it looks. All right, congratulations, everybody. Now you know how to get it done. Should you wish to see more videos like this, go ahead and click the like and subscribe button down below.